Now today we're going to refute totally the CO2 theory of global warming. The, we don't believe in global warming are winning this argument. It's happening just down there. I and mean, if you go and see the final advertising that has been done in the Natural History Museum, you really will be ashamed of science. I'm not a scientist, as I'm frequently reminded <laughs> when my critics refer to some of the views which I've expressed. But of course, neither are most of them. Uh, but uh, that doesn't <laughs> seem to stop them spouting the information which they wish to in support of their global warming point of view. I want to ask you about the, the high levels of concern now among ocean scientists about the effects of rising levels of CO2. CO2 seems to get a very bad press these days. <laughs> Largely the BBC's fault, I suspect. <laughs> Peer reviewed over the past 232 years, thanks to Newton's Principia. And at Durham University, we have two first editions of that, and I suggest all you scientists go and read it. It would be immoral to ignore the CO2 you know, fail theory while it is causing people to hold back third world development and make a weapon of mass taxation. 63% of the public believe that most of this is driven by the government's need to generate additional tax revenue. Even at the age of 76, which I am, when I see this picture, my temperature goes up, followed by the amount of CO2 I breathe into the atmosphere. Never the other way round. On the basis of the scientific evidence which there is, we should not be spending billions of money on a problem which, if the politicians of today get it wrong, they're not going to be here in 50 years' time to give the electorate an answer. Thank you. Thank you.